Eczema is a skin condition which is accompanied by excruciating and stinging itchiness. Those of us living with eczema have to incessantly fight the urge to scratch whilst bearing the agony. Researchers are testing new drugs in clinical trials in the hopes of finding long-term eczema treatments. But for now, there are many remedies which will soothe the discomfort temporarily. Is basic cleaning and moisturizing not doing the job? Well, don't worry because we have for you 10 eczema treatments to stop the itch. Number 10, wet bandages. Wet dressings are an excellent treatment for severe eczema. They typically alleviate symptoms within hours or days. While wet dressings may appear to be simple, they may require the assistance of a doctor or nurse. They'll apply a cortisol cream to the affected area before wrapping it in a damp bandage. Dry bandages are then placed over the damp bandages. This should alleviate some of the scratchiness temporarily. But if going to dermatologist clinic is not an option, then wet a washcloth or gals with cold water to make a fast compress to chill your skin. Grab an ice pack or a bag of frozen vegetables like peas or corn kernels, or simply plop on ice cube or two into a tiny plastic bag for more powerful relief. Chilling the eczema ridden skin numbs the area, although it may take up to 10 minutes to take effect. Number nine, aloe vera gel. Aloe vera gel is found in the aloe plant's leaves. Aloe vera gel has been used to treat a variety of skin diseases for ages. Its application on eczema relieves a person of the discomfort caused due to the disease. Skin infections are more prone to arise when a person's skin is dry and cracked. Thus, the gel's antibacterial and antimicrobial actions can help prevent them. The wound healing qualities of aloe may help to soothe and mend damaged skin. Start with a small amount of gel to see if your skin is sensitive, as aloe vera can occasionally cause burning or stinging. It is typically safe and effective for both adults and children. Individuals should try to use aloe gel products that have a limited number of ingredients other than aloe vera. Number eight, adding oatmeal to lukewarm bath. The title might have made you double take, but yes, adding collodial oatmeal to a lukewarm bath before soaking in helps soothe and relieve the dryness and itchiness of eczema. Soaking in the oatmeal bath for 10 to 15 minutes does the trick and it will calm down the flared eczema. Don't have enough oatmeal? Try baking soda instead. After the soak, be sure to lightly dry yourself just enough to keep yourself damp. Within three minutes after the bath, moisturize yourself with an eczema-friendly cream or petroleum jelly. Number seven, applying apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is a well-known home cure for a variety of ailments, including skin problems. Apple cider vinegar, according to the National Eczema Association, NEA, may aid in the treatment of eczema. It does, however, advise caution because the acids in the vinegar might harm soft tissue. Applying diluted apple cider vinegar to the skin can help balance the acidity levels, but if the vinegar is not diluted, it might cause burns. Alkaline soaps, detergents, and cleaners, on the other hand, can cause the skin's acidity to be disrupted, leaving it prone to harm. This could explain why certain soaps can aggravate eczema flare-ups. Vinegar wet wraps and baths work best to soothe eczema irritation. Apply diluted apple cider vinegar to cotton or gals, and then dress your rash. Keep the wet wrap on for at least three hours, and that should do the trick. Number six, coconut oil. Coconut oil contains helpful fatty acids that can benefit patients with dry skin and eczema by adding moisture to their skin. Furthermore, virgin coconut oil may protect the skin by reducing inflammation and increasing the skin's barrier healthiness. According to an older research paper, the effects of applying virgin coconut oil to the skin in youngsters were investigated by a trusted source. It was discovered that utilizing the oil for eight weeks alleviated eczema symptoms. After showering, use cold-pressed virgin coconut oil directly to the skin multiple times a day. Also use it before going to bed to keep your skin hydrated. At room temperature, extra virgin coconut oil is in solid form, but the warmth of a person's body heat transforms it into a liquid. The oil can be easily found in health food stores and on the internet. People who are allergic to coconut oil must take caution as it might worsen the eczema if used. Number five, using honey. Honey is well known for its natural antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties. These properties make it perfect as a natural ointment to relieve eczema's itching. According to a study, honey can help heal wounds and enhance immune system activity, which means it can help the body fight infections. Another option stated that honey may be used to cure a range of skin conditions, including burns and wounds, and has antibacterial characteristics. Honey, when applied directly to eczema-affected skin, can help prevent infections while hydrating and accelerating recovery. 
simply dabbing some chemically free and naturally honey on the eczema rash will lessen the irritation. But don't be fooled, there are many posers out there who are pitching honey infused, said sarcastically, moisturizers. Although they may have been infused with honey, their healing properties are next to nil after they have added all the perfumes and chemicals that irritate our eczema. Number four, tea tree oil. Tea tree oil originates from the leaves of the Malakalu Atarafona, an Australian tea tree. Many individuals utilize the oil for medical reasons, such as to treat cuts and sores. Tea tree oil is now commonly used to treat a range of skin conditions, including eczema. It has anti-inflammatory and healing features, which make it very useful for skin-related ailments. Before applying essential oils to the skin, always dilute them. Before using the remedy, combine tea tree oil with a carrier oil such as almond or olive oil. The oil is available in health food stores and on the internet. Number three, making dietary changes. What we eat has a huge impact on our skin, so making changes in our diet may also be the key to improving our skin's health. Certain food items are inflammatory and those of us living with eczema should refrain from ingesting them. While some food items are anti-inflammatory and aid in improving your skin situation. The goal is to increase the anti-inflammatory items in your diet and cut down the inflammatory items. Some examples of anti-inflammatory food are fish, green leafy veggies, fruits, etc. Some inflammatory foods are eggs, dairy products, wheat, etc. Those foodstuffs are very problematic as they worsen skin disease. Keeping check of your diet will considerably help in keeping your skin itch free and healthy. Number two, acupressure. According to a study conducted by Northwestern University, touching a certain place on your arm will help relieve eczema itch everywhere on your body. Bend your left arm and place your right hand on the outside of your elbow's crook to locate the top of the forearm muscle. Massage your fingertip firmly for three minutes while taking deep breaths. Never directly scratch the rash because that might lead to further infection. Scratch any non-affected part of your skin or tap the skin near the rash lightly. This should temporarily alleviate an irritating itchiness. Number one, relaxation. Stress has been proven to be one of the strongest itch triggers for eczema, so relaxing yourself is important. Don't stress yourself over fighting the urge to itch and give yourself time to calm. As you take a deep breath, concentrate on a word or sound. Tense and then release one group of muscles after another, starting with your feet and work your way up to your neck to achieve progressive muscle relaxation. Alternatively, you might use a stress management app. Practice mediation and distract yourself from wanting to scratch. That is it for today's video. An important thing to remember is that if the rash is getting worse, it would be best to visit your dermatologist at the earliest. We hope we introduce you to new and easy techniques to aid you in your struggle against the itch. Which remedy did you like the most? Which one are you most likely to try? Which one are you already implementing? Let us know all about it in the comment section down below. We will look forward to all your responses. Until next time, goodbye.